Hi guys, welcome back to the blog. Today it's me, Sadie, blogging, and today I'm going to be doing a tour of my paint table. Tables, I should say. So, I'm going to get started. Well, ignore this right here. I was painting and it has to finish up drying. So, I'm going to start right over here. I'm going to sit down. So, this over here is the water cup that I was using. So, that's that's nasty. So, <laughs> uh, this right here, these are plates that I use to, that are stuck together, that I use to my, pour my paint on sometimes. It's all dry. Um, but sometimes I use it, but most of the time I do use my paint palette, which is up here drying with all the paints that I just used to make this painting right here. So then this right here is my painting rag. Nothing exciting with that except I wipe up messes and clean my brushes. So in this top one, I have a couple of acrylics. Nothing as ordinary. I do have to get some more of these. So. Like there's not much in there. Then on this second one, I have all my watercolors, some of the crazy art washable ones, and then I have some acrylic ones. I don't use watercolor that much. This next one I have is some scalps. I don't use them much. I have my dotting tools, a couple sharpies, and then the smaller ones, the smaller coat of pencils because, um, because they fall out of those containers right through the little holes. So then this is where I keep all those. And that little container. And then this cup is all my paint brushes. This one right here is like all my colored pencils. My favorite dotting tool. Scissors. I love this pen right here. Um, I love this pencil right here. Oh, my big eraser. another sharpie and just some other cool stuff right here is my toilet paper that i use to clean up messes right here is some fingernail polish because as y'all know fingernail polish does clean paint up real and then right here is a spray bottle of water and nail polish mixed together to clean up the paint sometimes right here are my own little creations is to make dandelions and i'll show you a picture later about um of how i made these and one what the picture looks like. That right over there is just a drawing from my cousin, baby cousin. Her first drawing ever. So <laughs> right over here is just a sketchbook. Nothing in it. Another one of my paint palettes. Um, a sharpener, a paint plate, some extra paper, and then a notebook down there at the bottom. Don't use those very much. So now we're moving over here. So up here is just some cardstock paper. Right here is just like a couple doodles. That's a poodle, which <laughs> doesn't really look like a poodle. So this right here, this top drawer, is where I keep all my paints. I have a couple of big ones down there and a couple up here. They're just all kind of spread out. Right here, I have my paintbrushes, a scalp, and then underneath it is a container with some more paint in it. And then this right here is an eraser I use that is very very dirty my second drawer is just some oil pastels some pastels another one of those markers except green some little mar some more markers and then i have way down there sorry for the lighting way down there in the back is just some more markers and then over here is just a paper and then some more pastels and stuff so then in the bottom drawer is just some um, other stuff. It's just real messy. Sorry about that. Um, and all it is is like more colored pencils and some crayons and some like glitter and stuff. So now over here. <laughs> right here is my portfolio. That's where I keep every single one of my paintings unless they are drying or they're somewhere in a frame or something. Right here is just where I keep my cardboard and stuff if I have a big assignment to do. With all that, so now we're going to move over here to this Stokes. And then right there is, like, my little trash can and stuff. Right here is where I keep all my aprons and stuff. Sorry about the one on the floor. So over here is where I sometimes, as you can see, paint on it. Where I let stuff dry and stuff. So this right here is done drying. I actually have to do. But that is what these things write 
hairdo make. I like calling them dandelion spreshers because they do make dandelion shapes. And this is my own original work. Oh, and these are just a couple pieces. Um, that is a wave, but that's before I even learned how to do a wave, and my waves are much better now. <laughs> this right here is just another little thing, and then that's one thing that I'm working on. So that's just some stuff that I'm working on. Over here, just some beanie babies that are just up there. Right here is a trash bin, a horse that I have not finished painting. Another trash bin. A couple of notes and stuff, as y'all can see. My own clipboard. Oh, guys, I did paint the back of my clipboard. <laughs> what do y'all think? I don't know what y'all think. Some more notebooks, a couple of things, and then some folders with work in it, and then some other stuff. And then in the drawers. In the drawers, I have, this is the first drawer, I have some notebooks back there, an old thing I made in third grade, some crayons, some labels, some sticky notes, and then some foam letters, and then a paint palette that I did. The second one is more crayons, a county fair book, and then some like county fairs things that you can do. This third one is nothing in it. So not much exciting there. Um, and then the top is a monster I made last year, a mirror, a Moncala board, some books, Twister, and then a couple more notebooks. Oh, and another Beanie Baby. <laughs> so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining. Hope y'all enjoyed. Bye.